Good evening, guys. So a little bit of a belated video here. This was for one of my steel 045s. So I was trying to establish when I'd actually how long this has been hung up in my collection for, and it's quite some time. And it's strange, you know, I've, I've got about 150 saws now, and they, you know, I have too many project saws in a nutshell. So this is going up for sale, steel, 045, 75cc's, um, West German saw, these were made from early 70s, I think. So 1974, I'm pretty sure they're made from 1974 on. They might be from 73, actually, on one of my brochures or documents. But I think it's 74. And amazing saws. Professional forestry saw, fully adjusted with chain oiler, 3 8 pitch, um, chain, rim sprocket on the clutch, drum, and interestingly, same piston displacement as the saw I was running earlier today. So the Johnson 751 that predates this by half a dozen years, six or so years earlier than this, exactly the same, 50 mil piston, 38 mil stroke, 75 cc's. So she's got a few little cosmetic um, things to be aware of. So obvious things then, she is missing the air filter housing cover at the back and I've been trying for a while to get one and now I think I have actually found a steel dealer that has one but um, as yet they still haven't supplied to me so just assume for the time being that there's no air filter housing cover and what else does she have on her which needs looking at or does it, does it need looking at maybe or maybe not there is a tiny break and I've only noticed it again rechecking again recently on the bottom left hand corner here which means that the inside felling spike no longer has a lower a mounting lug to mount on. The bottom AV handle mount here is a little loose, so I haven't taken it off, but that would, it's in tight and it's firm, but it's it's got some movement on it. So that AV mount is obviously worn. And if I'm hypercritical, there's a little baby chip here off the corner of the fuel tank, if I'm in shot, there. Um, I guess that's about, that's about it for the main, main part. Um, can't think, yeah, it's ridiculous, really. so I've had so many project saws on the go, it's, it's hard to remember what else I put this one away for. I was obviously waiting for this cover. It was missing a filter, so it now has a genuine steel filter on. So she's running a genuine Oregon vintage bar, 20 inch, and it's got a genuine steel full chisel chain, which looks sharp and probably is just under half life left, maybe 30 or 40% left. Make sure that's switched off. But she's got fantastic compression pulls over really beautifully smoothly which is why I ended up buying her and I put on there so fully adjusted with chain oiler from the underside oh cool. darn fabulous compression <laughs>
So, starts beautifully. Has got really, really excellent compression. Ticks over really, really nicely. Obviously, I've never cut with this saw. Um, she needs a little bit of finishing off. So, things to be aware of. AV mount there, definitely loose. Actually, you can just see the split there. So, front AV mount is gone, but it's obviously still in firm, but broken. Has a little bit of damage here on the inside. So, depending if you really want to put on a uh, an inside felling spike, still have the facility to put the outside or external felling spike on. Um, clutch looks incredibly clean. Chain feels sharp. Guide bar has a little bit of pitting at the nose wheel end. Excuse me. So I love the, some of these old Oregon bars. This is the, one of the um, the 2500 series bar. I think they're the 2500s. They've got two different part numbers on them because you can take out the rivets and replace the nose wheel. So this has got a 3 8 nose wheel on. You can take that out and then it can be re retrofitted with a 404. Uh, I don't know how hard they would be to get now. Difficult, definitely. So she's 3 8 set up, uh, non chain brake, just got this sprung loaded knuckle guard. So there she is. Maybe, I'm hoping, a beautiful project saw so rather than just hanging up and not anything happening with me. Hopefully, um, a beautiful project saw for somebody. Uh, got this little baby sight glass here so you can see when you put the oil in. She has the correct filler caps undamaged, uh, kill switch obviously working, and the adjustable oiler. So I haven't, um, I can see the chain has got oil and is coming out. I haven't checked it to see if the flow control is working on the oiler, but let me show you her running again. Guys, thanks for watching. Sorry that late video is so late, but hopefully, suitable for one of you out there as an amazing project saw, or maybe if you have one of these broken already and you have the bits to finish her, the AV Max and the covers, maybe it'd be a great saw to put back into service for somebody. Guys, any questions, please just ask. Bye for now.